Hi Leo, what's up and welcome to your February reading. I hope that you're having a great day. We're going to see what messages need to come through for you for the month ahead, see what you can expect, see what energy you might be working with or what's coming towards you. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. And yeah, Leo, let's get into this reading and let's see what spirit wants you to know or be aware of for the month of February. Show me clearly what's going on for Leo in February 2024. Show me clearly what's going on for Leo. What am I? That's that's too many, but we'll take the whale. Okay. Show me clearly what's going on for Leo. My deck's upside down. Okay. What's going on for Leo? There we go. <laughs> so we have the whale, we have the firefly, and we also have the crow. Okay intuition's on point you better listen up your intuition is guiding you towards something and it's something big so get ready you might be feeling a little bit restless or a little nervous or like you're anticipating something something's coming and maybe you're not quite sure what it is or maybe you have an intuitive hunch about it but you're still not quite sure so you're sitting on the edge of your seat waiting for things to reveal themselves waiting for answers waiting for news waiting for clarity yeah literally underneath that we have the crocodile and crocodile is an energy of waiting and observing and like letting things bubble up to the surface so you're like anticipating something yeah even the golden egg this is the heart center this is your inner guidance this is your higher self that's speaking so you intuitively sense something big is coming what is this oh my gosh let's see underneath the golden egg the owl see and even the owl talks about your inner wisdom your inner guidance that you because think about owls like they're obviously nocturnal like they see the best in the dark so it's like you're kind of in the dark right now about a situation but yet you're able to kind of see your way through um there's lots of clues there's lots of hints there's lots of like pointers in the direction that you need to go down but take that as confirmation <laughs> my dog going crazy in the back um but you're, you're just on high alert it's like you're just like ready for something ready whenever ready to go waiting for the moment waiting for the green light like it's something like that i don't know but so starting off with that whale like this is where emotions are running high february you may be feeling very sensitive very deep emotions like you're feeling things very deeply deeper than usual um maybe it's because we're in aquarius season maybe we got it's because we got a lot of aquarian placements right now lots of planets in aquarius so maybe you're feeling that opposition um you know it just intensifies everything so the whale is also just the need for you to really remain patient and allow yourself to explore the depths of this situation this whole situation that you're dealing with um there's some clarity that's coming in in little bits and pieces but it's not the whole picture it's like you're trying to put a puzzle piece to get puzzle pieces together but you don't have all the pieces just yet but it feels like spirit is kind of like dropping you puzzle pieces along the way like little clues little hints little little things that are starting to align or match up or make sense as time so it, it kind of feels like it's a timing thing kind of similar to what libra's reading was about because i just did the reading before yours there seems to be kind of like an unfolding of events and it's it's like kind of there's like this divine sequence taking place and so these like intuitive blind spots where you're not able to quite predict or you're not able to quite see think about like fog right in the fog you can only see to a distance like you can't see very far um you don't know what's out there um and it's out of your control you can't stop it you can't you kind of just have to wait it out so i'm kind of it's like that kind of vibe here where you're getting these ideas and you're getting these images and you're getting these flashes and they come and go but they're in these short little bursts but it's your intuition coming through showing you the way with the crow there's something that you feel strongly about very intuitively about and you need to pay attention and you are and just know that you're on the right track know that you're on to something that <laughs> whatever your intuitive hunch is it's correct all right you're feeling that for a reason you're not overthinking it you're not you know oh it's a coincidence no it's not it's not it's literally not <laughs> like okay so you need to trust that you are 
on point you are on track and just you know you're on the right track like seriously keep going because you're it's leading you to something i don't know what we'll see where this is going or what this is but um you know you you are headed down the right track you need to continue down this path continue exploring okay like this whale right we see he there's this darkness we don't know what's underneath we don't know that depth just yet but if we keep swimming and we keep you know diving a little bit deeper even though it's a little uncomfortable you'll gain more knowledge or you'll you'll gain more knowing of something or more answers there's more to come you this is just the tip of the iceberg so let's get into this let's see what spirit wants you to know look out for be aware of for leo in february show me clearly What's going on for Leo in February? What do my Leos need to know? Look out for be aware of. What's going on for the moon? See? Something is hidden. But not for long. Judgment underneath at the bottom. Not for long. By the full moon in Virgo, it should be revealed to you. I'm going to pull you a moonology card. We're going to do that. We're going to see what is going to be revealed to you or what might be coming to light. But so your intuition is on point. Your intuition is onto something. Let's see what this full moon in Virgo is bringing you. Maybe you're dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer or a water sign. Whatever this is that has yet to be revealed, it is going to drastically transform your life. So get ready for that, especially emotionally. King of Cups underneath that, like your emotions, also your intuition and your healing abilities are transforming too. The more you use your intuition, the stronger it becomes. It's kind of like a muscle, you know. So what about this full? This deck doesn't want to shuffle. What about this full moon in Virgo? That and that's on the twenty fourth. I don't know if I mentioned it, but full moon in Virgo. What about this full moon in Virgo? That's important for Leo. What do we got? Show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. We're in Aquarius season. You guys, this could be connected to something that's going to be taking place in August. August, this this may be connected to something like six months from now. Less than six months, honestly. Leo season. When it's your birthday, when you're having your solar return, if you're a Leo sun, this is connected to that. For some of you, it's connected to that. For some, okay, so Aquarius, take a look at, if you know your natal chart, if you know your rising sign, take a look at where Aquarius is sitting in your chart, all right? Whatever house that Aquarius is sitting in your in your chart is being activated right now as we're in Aquarius season and we got all these other planets in Aquarius. So take a look into that. If you're confused about it, just comment down below. I can try to help. Um, but so Aquarius in general rules the 11th house in astrology and that's more to do with like um friendships it talks about your mm, it kind of it talks about your connections um to the outside world to i mean like shit i'm kind of having not gonna lie i'm having a bit of a brain fog right now like normally i'm on my shit uh, maybe spirit is just saying no more about this okay <laughs> no more spirit says no more we also have your commitments being tested so like huh what's being re oh wait do i have my i have the deck wait whoa what is going on oh my god okay you know what we're not even gonna you know what i knocked um what the fuck i knocked something down but i don't know where it went okay i'm just gonna we're gonna just retire this deck leo i'm sorry <laughs> some of you have a new romantic cycle beginning just saying, it's at the bottom of the deck. I'm not going to use this deck anymore. I'm kidding. Spirit says, fuck off with this deck. Okay, all right. So I guess we'll just let the tarot cards try and tell us the main messages. Because this Moonology deck, it's just, I'm not vibing with it right now. <laughs> just not working. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm not going to force it. Okay. Leo, what's going on for Leo in February? What's going on for Leo in February 2024? Show me clearly. Emperor. This may be about your work, your money, your career. We have the world indicating some sort of cycle closing out, some sort of ending, as well as a new beginning. Literally, Ace of Wands underneath that. There's a new beginning. I'm seeing that you're taking 
or you have the option to. It looks like you're taking it. It looks like you're taking it. Of course, you got your free will. You'd be like, no, I don't want it. <laughs> Which is, that's funny because underneath that, you have the four of cups. You may not even see this come in or you may actually want to reject this. Underneath this, we have the ace of pentacles. You have an offer coming in, Leo. Maybe it will earn you more money. Maybe it will alleviate some sort of financial stress if you've been in a, a, a stressful financial. I can't even hold these fucking cards. Okay. Leo, you all are, I'm struggling in your reading today. Okay. Either way, you have a new offer, new beginning, probably about your career or your money or some sort of passion or hustle or business, something like that. You may not be seeing it right now, or you may not be seeing the results right now, or you may not even be aware that this is what's coming in in the next couple of weeks. You might not be like, no, nah, like nothing's happening at my job. Everything's just like same old, same old, mundane, like nothing new, same old shit. Yeah come back by the end of this month let me know if this still resonates let, let me know let me know let me know because it looks like there will be some sort of new position or new i don't know you might even be moving for some of you or if there's an opportunity for travel or i don't know exploring something new or exploring like this depth that you've you haven't done before you haven't gone to this place before it's something different it's different for you it's something, I don't know. Is it something that you're already committed to? Probably, yes. That's what I'm hearing. Spirit says yes. Okay. Okay, let's just keep going. Tell me more. What's going on for Leo in February 2024? What's going on for Leo? We got this, <laughs> the Six of Swords. Okay, it was meant to come out. All right, so here you go you're moving along swiftly easily pretty seamless here you still got that four of cups at the bottom what are you not seeing this is something you don't see moving for oh my god here here this is what you're not seeing leo so here you go you're in your boat you're just doing your thing you're like yeah i, I go to work i show up every day I, I do my job i get paid that's just the way it goes right that's just what i'm doing or you know that's an example but i i do think this is about your money although we'll, we'll see but i think it's your money all right who else had a reading like that i think it was aries you may have aries placements but anyway so you're just choose cruising along going along doing your thing <laughs> and you don't see something coming you don't what do you not see coming or you don't know what you're heading into right ace of pentacles here we have it again and the page of cups so you have someone that's coming in with some sort of offer and you're going to think about it. Hang man, you're not fully trusting of this. You may actually be reluctant to accepting this offer. I should look into what this, let me look into this Ace of Pentacles. What is this? Spirit, can you tell us what this, um, what deck do I want to use? I'll use this one what's this ace of pentacles what's this offer that's coming in that leo looks kind of closed off to or like hesitant to or not interested i'm kind of getting this vibe that you may be like no nah, i'm good let's see ace of pentacles what is this offer or opportunity or new beginning that leo doesn't see coming it's like it's weird it's like you don't see it coming but yet intuitively you felt it or intuitively you had a like a feeling about it but at the same time like day to day like you're not really thinking about it but you've thought about it before what the fuck <laughs> okay all right literally the magician at the bottom of the deck like you've thought of this before or you've imagined this before or you've at least put yourself in this position of what if but i don't know if you've put yourself much further than that Maybe you, that's something that you need to start thinking about with the firefly. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, please. Look what came out. <laughs> Six of Swords again, the same fucking card. Okay, so <laughs> this is what you're this this is what you're moving to. Oh my god, this is so funny. So what are you moving towards? Six of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. You're moving towards this. Like, but I'm trying to figure out what this is for you, Leo, and it's not telling me. Literally, the moon. And the six of wands okay all right this is public this is happening in your public area of life 
public life, public work, like, what do you do that's involving, like, like, ugh, what the fuck am I saying? How do I, how do I translate this message, Spirit? I'm, like, struggling here. This is about you being seen or in a position that puts you in a higher place or a higher status or... I see that you'd be successful in this. I do. Six of Wands, that is a card of victory. That is a card of recognition. That is a card of really just bossing up, doing your shit, doing a damn well good job doing this, whatever this is. But it's not tell me what. It just shows that you'll be successful. This is about... Your, I think this is about your career or like this is something... To, hearing publicity... Maybe you're publishing something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's 6 6, by the way. 6 6 6. The devil. Oh my god. Satan. No, it's not. It's not. I'm in a goofy ass mood here. Okay, Ace of Swords at the bottom. So this, the, this hasn't come in just yet. Come back by the end of the month. Come back by the 24th. And then let me know if this resonates. Don't comment now and be like, this isn't my reading, but thank you. You're welcome. Come back by the 24th and let me know let me know by the end of the month let me know or in march come back to this please somebody i'm so curious tell me what this ace of pentacles is i'm gonna try one last time death and the star all spirit can tell me is that whatever this is this opportunity is will change your life for the better with the star this is happening in aquarius season so for some of you this is taking place before the 24th like the next week the next two weeks this is coming in for some of you in aquarius season before we head into pisces which is about that's the moon that's pisces energy so the star the star is a card of a wish fulfillment so this is something that you've wished for this is something that you've dreamt of this is something that you were hoping and we also have the Eight of Cups underneath that. So maybe your wish is to move, or maybe your wish is to leave something. Leave what? Eight of Pentacles. Work! Some of you, literally, are you retiring? Like, are you, are you like, quitting your job? Are you, some of you are like, I wish to leave something that I'm working a lot of, a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of hours. What are you working on? Ace of Wands. Some sort of passion. You, some of you are, you're going to be leaving your current job to go pursue some sort of dream or passion of yours or something that's more fulfilling for you let's see i'm gonna ace of wands the tower big shake up big big shake up hang man and this is gonna be outside of your control whoa okay so this ace of pentacles this is a big deal this is a big deal for you so i'm gonna just keep that underneath the six of swords because that was at the bottom of the deck so I hope this is helpful because again it's not it's very like general like it's not really telling me exactly what this is but it looks like it has something to do with your public image maybe your career a job um some it's a passion of yours or it's a dream of yours it's something along that that like <laughs> and spirit wants you to to really step out and be shown and show the world the real you okay step into the light step into you know who you were always meant to be all right tell me more what's going on for leo what's going on for leo in february oh my gosh okay so we have the wheel of fortune fellow in the reverse i'm feeling like this is representing delays blocks or timing all right hmm. and then we also have the ten of cups there may, for some, this might be, rec mm, how do I want to put this? Ace of Wands at the bottom. You might have to move. Some of you might actually be moving. I, I did pick up on that a while ago, or I think I said it in this reading. Some of you, part of this delay or part of this stagnancy is because you're being required to move or it's because there's something about your home position, home situation, that's part of this delay i don't know what is this delay there's a delay here a delay of ten of cups what you want your dreams your home your happiness fulfillment your relationships all that you want and desire to have in your emotional section of your life right ace of wands is at the bottom with the two of swords so you'll have a choice to make um queen of cups seven of swords you may not have all the info you may need to do some more planning or more research or you might want to sit on something for a little bit until you're 100 percent sure because the queen of cups to the two of swords you, you have a decision to make right 
and it's about this change or some sort of we're gonna look into what this this delay is because i think you may have an opportunity that will like clear up whatever hang up there's a hang up you guys there's a bit of a hang up but it's it's going to come down to you and some sort of decision that you make but this is something that you should take your time on or maybe maybe it's not even that it's just you need to listen to what your intuition saying like your intuition is telling you something about this new path ace of wands okay so what's this like delay or obstacle or what's getting in the way yeah let's see oh i gotta use a different deck sorry let me i'm feeling oh my god there we go I'm feeling like i need to use this deck for some reason it's calling to me Hmm. Wheel of Fortune reverse. What's this Wheel of Fortune reverse for Leo? What's this delay or block? Or like what why is the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse for Leo? Here's a star showing up again as I split the deck. Okay, this deck is ready. Is it reverse? Yes, okay. What's this Wheel of Fortune reverse about for Leo? Nine of Pentacles. There's something about you having to like have your independence or freedom or maybe you got to get your health straight or some sort of confidence maybe that you are either building up or you're requiring to step into this position you need to have the confidence maybe you're not having that yet or maybe you're not you're having a hard time believing in yourself look what just came out again the four of cups maybe it comes down to the the, the voice that you're you have oh my god the inner voice <laughs> can't even speak leo this is i feel like a mess in this reading oh my god this is the last reading i'm doing today this is the fourth one i've had to do today five of cups at the bottom it's like you're telling yourself that something's not possible or it's like out of reach or like you're not deserving of this or it'd be too difficult or what five of cups strength it would be too hard it would be, it would be. let's see nine of wands like you're i feel like you're coming with every excuse as to why you should turn this down but it shows that it could make you really happy or t what, what else about this wheel of fortune reverse there's something that you feel like you can't be capable or it would be too difficult or maybe you're feeling rejected or it comes down to some form of fear of rejection wheel of fortune reverse for leo nothing's coming out oh 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 look the sun Talk this wheel of fortune reverse for leo nothing nothing's coming out okay i'm gonna do one last time wheel of fortune reverse for leo there we go thank you five of wands see you're conflicted you're going back and forth five of swords at the bottom you're going back and forth of what's gonna make you happy versus like like there's just an inner struggle like you're challenging the what's the challenge <laughs> five of swords judgment king of swords are you judging yourself too harshly or you're worried others are going to judge you too harshly or there's something like you're defensive about you're really protective over or like you have like this firm stance that it's gonna like backfire or like seven of wands and the ten of swords like you have this feeling seven of so oh sorry seven of wands seven of swords that's two sevens you have a feeling you don't know you don't want to you don't want to get yourself involved in a situation that is more than you can chew or like signing up for something more than you expect or something like that like because it, it's showing like there are some things that are hidden there are some things that when it comes to this offer or a new beginning new path like you don't know all the ins and outs of it like and so you're you're hesitant to like you have a reason for that then king of swords this is the energy of like really like look at the details look at the fine prints look at the facts be analytical be precise about this use your judgment five of swords but the thing is the five of swords like he does win at all costs like he you know he may have to step on some toes to to win to succeed but you know it's showing that you could do this if you if you want but there, it's like 
how bad do you want this thing? And you're, it's, it's like, I don't know. It's, it's kind of like back and forth. I, I, I'm definitely feeling your struggle, Leo. You're like unsure about it. So like, how is this reading helpful? <laughs> I don't know. Like, okay, so then what? Okay. We do have the Ten of Cups. Hmm. What should Leo do, Spirit? Let's just ask. I'm going to see what comes out. I'm going to ask. Because I don't. I, we could just leave the reading here. But how is this helpful? It's just kind of reaffirming. If you're in this position right now. And you're like, yeah, I don't know what to do. Thanks for telling me I don't know what to do. Because, like, <laughs> you know, it's not helpful. Oh, maybe it is. But just where I'm at as the reader. Just, like, translate the message. I'm like, how is this helpful? I don't know. So let's just see. What, what advice we're gonna ask spirit for advice what what advice do you have for leo on how to handle this situation or like how to move forward maybe what direction to move forward what advice do you have for leo in regards to this what advice do you have for leo in february 2024 what advice ten of swords Three of Swords in reverse at the bottom. This could be saying, leave the past in the past. Is this relevant? Like, <laughs> Nine of Wands. Maybe this is saying to really stand your ground, protect yourself. Any advice for Leo? Pa two Pentacles reversed. And one more. Death. King of Cups. I mean, the advice is literally follow your intuition. Like, follow your gut. If you're instantly, like, on the defense, or if you're instantly, like, not feeling it or something doesn't feel right or something like you know does it just feels like you'd be putting yourself in a bad position obviously listen to that obviously listen to that shit um you could be protecting yourself from some sort of harm like your intuition might be really like coming through strongly like you may be kind of tempted to give this a chance but your intuition is coming through much stronger be like leo like you better watch out <laughs> you're treading on some thin ice over here so two of pentacles reverse like i see you eventually deciding and then death and then solidifying with that choice so you'll be deciding what will you be deciding let's see king of cups two of cups could be about a relationship and the fool and then the nine of pentacles ace of swords i mean <laughs> You gotta get clarity on what you want. What do, what do you want? What do you want? And then decide. Some of you could be jumping into a relationship. Partnership. It doesn't have to be romantic. Could be in business. Could be emotional though. Oh, Leo, what a reading. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of confused. But <laughs> that's what I got. That's what I got for you. Um, good luck. Yeah, what the fuck am I going to call this reading? I have no idea. I honestly don't know, but it's okay. Um, Leo, hopefully you got something from this reading. Hopefully this helps you with this path, with this choice, with this journey. Seems complicated, but at the same time, it's really not. Like, it, I, again, it just comes down to your intuition. And you already know, most likely. You already know, or you're going you're gonna to get stronger synchronicities or stronger signs that will show you the correct path okay so just give it some time continue to explore this path or take you know follow your gut it's gonna be revealed to you very soon though so just hang tight thank you for your love and support leo i appreciate you have a great day and i will let you go i'll talk to you in your next reading bye